alternative dig talk real issues real talk Go to the church, you know. Tell him, man, what's up? Man, can you imagine people just dump everywhere? Someone drinks water and throws the bottle wherever. Come on, Rogers. What else do you expect people to do with an empty bottle? Did you know that plastics take at least 450 years to decompose? What? That's a long time. Exactly. Because plastics are made out of a lightweight and flexible material that doesn't decompose easily. And plastics everywhere in the environment cause plastic pollution. What is plastic pollution now? It is the accumulation of plastic waste in the environment, like bottles, polythene bags, straws, all of these contribute to plastic pollution. I have been using them without knowing their effect. Yeah, a lot of people have. Plastics are a danger to the ecosystem, both on land and in water. So how can we overcome this problem? Is there something we can do? Oh yes, we can reduce by minimizing the use of plastics, reuse by repurposing them, or recycle by collecting and processing them into new products. Everyone wants to change the world, but no one wants to change themselves for the world. How about we change our habits for the world? And, and it, it starts, starts with, with me and, and you. you. This message is brought to you by Alternative Digitalk. Alternative Dig Talk. Real issues. Real talk. Sozo <laughs> Eranga tuko baga ni mbiro nzo kunsonga, eze nja ule vyo fuzi, vya, vya mateka, vyo vula mwagia nji gidiza zona, nso njezi kwa ata kumbela zaba, ntu zona tuzo vila koso, na vulu naku, uwe mando kutuko luna kurokta, nyo sawa bili, kutuko kusawa nya, eza kala sama ya nzi, nze omombe jari wa dedidian, eranga kanyo mido ketu imo mkade kano, keka mighty global news updates, nina kubanga nkubwa, Yerimo kwe ebyo, yeri ya koza maulile, atana we otegele nsonga, nga buzata mude, ebyo otegele vinji nyo, iweta go kubanga omanya, ebi kwa atakana kumaulile, uh, wanyo ewafe, e Uganda, edanga gina kubanga, ntandeka butele vunyo, na inga sinatandeka, Njaga lanko tegeze. Tuli utele kupejeza for the alternative Uganda. Okono kwa sani digital TV. Ili anga jemiku. Tuko sifuro kubango tufoni da live. So nga te YouTube channel ya fe. Ili the alternative Uganda. Nsaka tutambule fe na. Memu wako kwa bili abili mwena. Mwena mwena abachata mbode na fe. Mbe tuwe waza. Uh, tuwe waliza dara. Ili anga chemukola. Mm, chamani nyo. Miku tuwe mila lakwe tuli nyo. Ku Twitter. Uh, ukono genda kuku Instagram na ije tule Bambi to follow inge e, Tambula na fe o tambula no kumanya O tambula no kunyume wanga tela Goyiga Ebebe nabe na tubikutu saku uh, Te bulungi Tukida kwa na umami Agustin Ojobile e, Nsonga za tugenda ukugira kwa e, Mwaka kuna bili ya bili mwena Habari kwa opposition mbo Wete uh, sete sebatia Ilabi chebio Bipasu bilo kubanga watani Kita kalimu chibina Che forum for democratic change Ilangali uh, kuchiwai Eche na jana nkumbi e, Mkulo ono tukina kwa na in studios Nga kubanga uh, te negatiwa kumina ngeroja Suya hawa tutambule fena e, Wetuna unze kila Kale ngana yatu wade Yo mwaka bili ya bili mwena wagulaba Na bichi biba gendo kubanga bakola Nenda kuba ntandi kama ulile gafe Elanga ngenda kubanga ntandi kane banja lye gwanga Uganda banja nolino e, ateka kati uh, liye yongere de dala tulimo trillion chikumi oba obuse uh, chikumi ulambi kakati bo 
abatunulira ensonga zinezze byenfuna ebara budde Uganda ne bazega amantu munange musisizza okwewola emwewola wanu na wali mwewola wanu na wali erango okwewola oko ate kugenda kubanga kutuletera oba kutuzalira emiteru jebuja mu mase era ne bagamba anti munange okudibuda bo kusasanya sente ate oko kudibuda wanu mu Uganda twali badde ate tukukomeza dalala e munange bano bala buli de dalante banja lino awe libanga na teri 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 tewabaddeo limit ku nsasanya yensimbi egwanga ligana tugena gena maso no kubanga twewola e ya mabanja ate agatagenda kubanga agagenda kubanga gatuzalira emiteru era nibagama anti ensonga aizo buli bwengu zize zetedde ate egwanga lya fe okubanga munange ligenda olusi mu mabanja ko nono kuzingamya ate service delivery eri abantu so ni wagama ati munange wabe we chikolebwa ku nsonge eno atenga ekizimba tekenda banga kisamba ndagala wetogera tuli mu wuse a chikume bulambirira ebunonno bwe butu banjibwa nge gwanga Uganda okwewola bagamba kubadde kusukiride nene bagama ati awali badde ekomo ku ngeri je tusasanya mu nsasanya eyo kudibuda kubate eyo kwe yagali nyo wanonge gwanga Uganda teyeta agisa china jukirwa nti buchanga eteka ndi kugira omukwano gwebi kukuju buchanga litekebwa ko mukono mukulembeze we gwanga binji nyo ange gwanga ebize bitubera ko obo botu nide banki nsi ono kugano kudanga mu kutuwo lane bidara binji nye bize abija oreteke lyo so abali mu ministry of finance je buvude ko nabo bavyo ni bategeza nti munange eteka lino lituzali da kabasa e kunsonga zinezi kwatagana ne byensimbi wa ne byenfuna byegwanga iranga bagama nti obo lyawo wali badde we chikolebwa naye kakati we chibange banja ate lili nyu jedala e kinonno chitekawo okwera likirira ebyo ngambe vuddeko ane yongeddeyo nabadde kuli oludda oluwa bula government anjogera ku HT wa Mathias Mpuga Nsamba e ona ko regulo yawaddeyo office ye eri e ya modira mu bigere e oyonnonga ye a uh, Joel as uh, abasekeze uh, senyonyi e una ko regulo ya mukwasiza uh, ya face era wonga bola ba ku screen yo yabadde mu wa file e ate ye milimo ejiz eji eji ngabo jikole boba ne jikole dwako mu um, office ya kulira oludda uh, oluwa bula government era bwe yabadde mu ya face eno uh, ya mugambe okwegendereza e na babaka bali ko ludo luvuganya government lwa lwa badda kulembera nategeza nti muri mwa babaka abebike ebyenja ulo yayogedde kubeke ejo yayogedde kubogere nnyo nenga ate bakola kitono e na yogera ne kwabo munange abalaga nti bakola nnyo nenga ate aboda mu actual sense tebaina nnyo cha mani che bakola ina nagamba enti munange yegenderebeze dalala e okondo nayongera nayongera okubanga amwagaliza ate a uh, buwanguzi mu minimu je nenga je goba kwasiza uh, ya face ya uh, Joel Senyonyi yategeze zanti ensongeze kwatakana ne demeri yo bantu nabantu ababuzi wa water agenda kubanga ate uh, awera uh, ubanga uh, atula wansi kuzu naga manti agenda kukuba okulaba nga monange abantu bano abakwatibwa olwensonga ze byo bufuzi bayimbuwera yategeze zanti bana Uganda baba ina masubiri nji nyo kubanga baba weleze era nategeza nti bagenda kola chonne kisoboka ate okubanga baweleza bana Uganda era nagamba e, munange tagenda kusa mukono nga baba dachikola mukosase ate na wano bwagenda okubanga achikola iranga uh, office eno yajitutse olunaku olwegulo kale yaji baddemu e, bamu food bamu food ba, bamu wacha uh, iranga kino je kyali mu mubaka uh, Francis Zake Buteri wabula ekifo uh, mubaka Francis Zake Buteri kye yawe kye yawe wa deputy chief whip e, kinonno uh, uh, <laughs> baganyo kuchika kasa mu parliament mbote bachimanyi naye um, uh, leader of opposition mpya Joel Sonyo nyina yongira kutangaza na gama nti kifo kino uh, chaliwo okuva mu parliament ate eyagwa njogera ku parliament ye 10 eranga chatekebwa abali ku ludo oluwa oluwa bula government nategeza nti kifo kino e, cheta gira the last boat bagenda kubanga bauliriza ebyo ate ebyo kuchijjawo e, naga mante chifecho echa deputy chief whip chiwe ulako akumirimu uh, chief whip 
ate jali na yani bategeza nti echifo kino chichali cha nkizo nyo chichali cha mugaso nyo eranga chichetagibwa e awonvude wo ku dachika 19 za kaita ko sawa ebileza machago na korali ro might drive e program yoge na maso no kubanga olaba nze umombe jali wede lilian tutambula fena akanyomero ketu nke kama ite global news updates nkuwa ebimo ko ebyo ebikoze amaulire wano ate anuboli awo nakadde kana bakatsuze za tugende ko a uh, ne mama wanga te amalala uh, e naba gereka as livia na jinda onako regulo e uh, yabadde ate uh, alambula uh, kubasaka ate uh, iranga bano uh, bali ku somero lya homes dalen e uh, gayaza iranga uh, nayo bakamara yo sabit bili nambirira ngaba bangulu ate mu bintu ebyenja ulo naba gereka uh, yarabudde nate abasaka uh, ate bano akabi akali mu kukozesa ebiragalalagala miranga ya yabagamenti chino a chikosa ebyobulamu bwabwe atena nga chivira ko muntu eyo kumerero kusoma okuno akosa no kufiriza gwangira yenyamide a nenge lya basadde aje batiti lya mwa bane nnaku zino nategeza anti munanga bana beta ago kubanga e baba angulwa mu bintu ebyobulamu obwabulijjo e nade ndaba mauli dawo nga waliwo omchala ayogera nategeza anti abana abamme bafunye mu kisaka ate abagenze no kutuka yonga te bamanyi na kambe e nenga taina cha manyi chona chona na ye we bagenda okuvira yo e munange banone bajja kubanga baba angudwa a uh, mu bintu ebyenja ulera na no mchalo oyo uh, ya yonge do kukutira abazadde ate okubanga bakole kisoboka okuyigiriza abanna babwe emini mweja waka ngo je ko kubayigiriza ebya ebyokusoma byoka wabula no kubayigiriza ate ebintu ebinzo kubayamba mobalamu obwa bulijjo awo mvuddewo kugulira elyo ate anne yongeddeyo kugulira eddala kakati alipota ya saba londo zwe bitawo ya government e, ya zudde anti waliwo omujuzo e, ogwe yongedde mu makomera eranga ye omogezi wa makomera omukuru Frank Baine echo nacho naye yachikiriza e, naga manti munange egwanga mutisita kino lilina abasibe abasobera dalala mu mitwalo a musanvu e, mirambirira eranga amakomera agaliwo ate nago matono dalala eranga tegamala e, makomera tulina 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 agali mu bibiri nenga ate abasibe tulina abasobera dalala mu mitwalo omusanvu bo tunuira districts omujuzo jigusinga mulimo hoima mulimo a uh, fort poto mwe mwe districts endala erange no mujuzo agusukiride uh, ate mu makomera eranga munange embera ena makomera je gali mu nayo uh, bajikonye ko okubera embi eranga baga mantensimbi eziba we wa government ate okukubanga bakuma abasibe bano entono nyo atenga omujuzo gwo uh, mu yitirivu mu makomera ago uh, kale ne bagamba anti uh, wabiyo ekikolebwa ate uh, kubanga abasibe bano uh, omujuzo guno uh, gukolebwa koko no kusana kubanga emisango ejivunani wa bantu bano e, ate jiwulirwa uh, mu bonnambiro nalabye kaba mu ade batesa nga bagamba anti ekiviride ko omujuzo guno kyandibanga kiva ku uh, kubalamuzi ate aba aba ulire emisange emitono bwe bage na mukoti eranga nabantu abamu abali badde batebwa kale bate bongerwayo ebanga lyabwe lyo busibe olwenso nga te misango jabwe ajitwala akadde kanji nyo okubanga jiwulirwa awono nawo vudde wo ngenze ku nsonga ate eyamba batege karamoja a district ya Kotido e, banonno batubide na mabati agatwalibwa yo mwako gwede eranga gano gali gava um, office ya saba minister gagali ga kuwebwa ate abakaramoja abali bakomyawo emmundu e, mu mirembe erango no akawefube akolebwa okubanga batebenkeza ekitundu kino eranga bagamba nti ekiretedde amabati gano okubanga gatubide kwe kubanti tebali na nsimbi zigenda kubanga zigatambuza ate okubanga bagatusa ku bantu abo yabitago okubanga bagafuna nti betage miliyoni eziwerera dalala 10 okubayamba ko kutambuza amabati gano ate gasobola okubanga gatuka eri abo abayina okubanga bagafuna abantu bandi badebe obako office za, uh, za za district 
e eh, okubanga babuza enteka teka ya mabati etu sewa nyo ya wagama nti wajira balinda ko e eh, ya mabati gana tika na wako wanga gato kambitu ndu yawe ate abu gana waga tu senti wajia kusobulo kubanga baga batu sako mbudewo ate neyo ndedeyo um, neguli li e dara obulado waka lusu e eh, weyo ngezi di dara mu district e eh, yese mbabu li range no mabati bata dewo kalantini uh, kukuta mbuza ewe eh, sorobyo na ewe eh, ingila district eno ilanga wano ba chizu denti eh, chivade chaka lusu ate cheyo ngele de dara ewe mwako guwede uh, mu desemba ya eh, wakule meza mu district eyo eh, wagala wo obutale wona obutu nde ewe soro ewe eh, bufanyo wawe okubaluka wo kwe chivade chino eh, chaka lusu nga bage ndelida okwe wala Echua de chino okubanga chisa sana. Echua de muno wakalusu wabulu mainti. Iranga wa, abamu kubinara vieko. Nga wogira wa wagame. Muna ekalusu ne yase. Nebo bange ntezo bade wazigema. E, muna nge akwa tira dara. Ate ntezo ni. Lani wate geza ntivanji nyo. Bafiri zidwa orenso nganti. Awa dewa ja ensimbi. Na inga atebo baba nga bata deo karantini. Chite geza nti uh, bagenda kubanga bafirizi. Wairanga baga matitiba kiri za uh, mtuye na kusaba za ate bisoro kubija mdistrikt na loku bitu waleyo. Obo kubijeyo kubitu wala mdistrikt na loku jako. Nenyame bagi dua neso kekebelewa. Oka kasa obanga uh, temuli bulade mdo wakalanti. Wairanga makuba gasinga batadewe imesavu. Eo kubanga bata, bata angira bantubo na abayinzate okukuku sa e bisolo oba enyama okujijisemba okujija esemba bole ato kujitwala mu bitundu e bilala na inga tega amata ne gacha gena maso nokubanga gata mbuzibwa neera abatunulizira ensonga balabu dent chino chinacho chali berate chibi orenso nga tikinza okuongera obulade buno okusaa sana ate mbitundu e bilala Kakati, polisi na yo, elike chikuwe ketoche ya koze, e, unaku oregulo, e, mobitundu vya nansa na katoke, okunu kusa, a, nebitundu vya vidiranyi, akatari kao safi. Ilanga mnu ya kwa atidemu wa bantu wa basa vila dala mbaku miavidi, ilanga vino, banu waga ambibu wa kubantibeba mu, kubabade befu nyiride, a, te okube wintu biyo kulugudu, ranwezan bypass, Okuno kosa nengu dendala wano mchivoga kampala. Bandi nyo bako watidua iranga wagena kubanga baguru wako emisango eje nja ulo. Kakate ilano ulina koregulo e, abantu abatambuze bigere mchivoga kampala. E, munange baso wado kubanga wakilizibwa ate ukutambulira uh, ukutambulira uh, kurugudo ulo uraflyover. E, Njogira katikubano abatambuze bigere. Ukubanga abatambulira waguru wao iranga bandi nyo a uh, ba bala bidwa ko ngabe ku bifana nyinga bala gakale esanyo libaina okubanga munange baso ddo kubanga bakozesa ku lugudo lo lugudo lo luzimbiddo uh, ku manjadala kakakate banga teruna bakubanga lugulu awo eri abebidduka wabula bo abebigere e ona ko regulo kaba deka deka awe oba kaba deka sera kawe nabo okubanga ate ba banyumirwa awo mvudewo ate neyongeddeyo na mawulire a uh, malala e nayo ngedeyo mugulire uh, oba mu mawulire amalala ko dachika abiri mwemu ezaka ita kusawa ate ebireza machagona ko rwalero abatuze abawangalira mu gombolola e kakuto mu district ye chotera e bo basobedwa e kam ne mu chibira webula lya amazi mu kitundu eranga baga matege bakozesa uh, baga gabana uwa mu ne bisole eranga kino kiyinzo kubavira ko Okuruwa alate, e, iluwa deba. No baga amba, tike fumeti ya liwa deko neche kola. Orenso nganti balina, uh, balina uh, muna nge, uh, balina amazi wano. Baga sundi, danga walu ne sola, uh, sola panos, ze yamba ko ukusuku marama zago. Ne muna nge, vino vio na vio na tibachabi funa. Lani baga amba, tia amazi gebanyo, oba amazi geba koze sa, baga gabana wa mune nte. Tebaga manti chabula benyo, elanga chino chinzo kubira ko uh, enduade ya te okubanga uh, muna ngezi baku wata. Ilani wasa wa government okubako chekola uh, kumsunge na babenga ate uh, nabo bayambiwa. Awo mvudewo, nene yongirayo ate 
uh, mbumauli amala laga vako ebweli we gwanga matabani we yali omukulembeze we gwanga lya Nija enjogera ku Sam uh, Bazum e ononno yali yakwatibwa amaje e yagawamba obuyinza omwako gwede kakati ne bamaze ne bamuyimbula eranga ono e ya kuyimbula kwe uh, kwa vude uh, ko kachiko ka majja gawamba obuyinza okusalawo e ate okumuta ononno bwe yateredwa Yasaze ukwolekera kuolekera gwanga elia togo ilanga abada kuru ngude emeze tanu mungkomyo ukuvalu ya kuatibwa e, mumwezi ukumu sanfu omwaka ugwedira na tegezanti ye ya teredwa wabula mkomera ya liseyo basadebe ukulichita we muhamud bazum ukuni kosa ne mama we ilana tegezanti abaliseyo mungkomyo na inga tamanyi adibo ya wagenda kubanga batewa. Na mpunze kene guli lelino, ilikuwa takada kuchikopo uh, cha maangaga Afrika, chununo uh, chengi lidali ranga, uh, bantu wa benja ulo, watandise okubanga wagenda, okweta wamu uh, mpakazi ya chikopo chino, e, mwagwanga ili Ivory Coast, uh, wagenda okubanga uh, wezi indira. Um, mpakazi no, zita andika, a uh, kuluna ku ndwa sande iranga banyumirwe bipira e eh, boba genda kubanga abekanye uh, kwanga ya Ivory Coast ndiye ligulwawo uh, leri gendo kubanga ate uh, lisokera daladala okuzanya e eh, mu ona ko resande so mpira ogo e eh, mugulindirire abagazi bo mpira e eh, mugu mujigoberere ate musobola kubanga namwe mutegera ensonga zino nga bwazita ambere dachi kazili abiri munya biza kaita ku sawe biza machagonga ko rale na mighty drive ye program joge na maso no kuwanga olaba tubadde mighty global news update nze omumba jali wo debilian katu mune muko katono nyo wetu ko mau mighty drive egenda maso <tune>
just plus your order or reach us on 0772-080090. You can also check up at Less Up stores on all our social media platforms. Less Up, craft your own footprints. Are you craving for that special meal that will entice your taste buds and leave you with lasting thrilling memories? Look no further. Spice Island Bolenga has got your answer. Nature fresh and delicious juice, the best meals. Don't miss our daily specials from Monday to Sunday. This is Wednesday. Saturday Pizza Bonanza, you buy one and take two. Come dine with us and feel the experience. We are located at Prime Shopping Center in Bulenga, Mitiana Road. For inquiries, call us on 07-04-11-1720. Spice Island, we treat your cravings. Alternative Dig Talk. Real issues. Real talk. <laughs> yeah, good morning, uh, <laughs> listeners and viewers. It's a great pleasure once again to be here mm. with uh, you today. It's uh, always home mm. when I'm here because uh, we share a lot. Uh, actually, to, to surprise you people, 
I always share my videos uh, when I'm uh, out of here. Mm. Now, people say, is it those who see me mm. in the other aspect of uh, the field work, whenever, <laughs> whenever, I, sure. whenever I share these, uh, these talk shows, mm. they're like, just polite in the, in the studio. So. <laughs> <laughs> and when you go on streets, it's a different thing. So I, I, I don't know. I, I don't know whether people think uh, if you, the, the speed you use for walking is the same speed you must use for talking. Yeah? <laughs> These are two different things. You cannot walk at the same rate uh, as you speak. So <laughs> That is actually very, very well noted. <laughs> <laughs> so... <laughs> So you should only walk faster, but you should speak moderately for everyone to understand what you're saying. Uh, good morning, once mm -hmm. again. My mm -hmm. name is Augustine Ojombire. Welcome to the show. And so as I'm sorry to say, like any more zungu, we never nothing to do with it. So together, so get a mo. Together, zi me nyama nyama ni mi bili so that we get for all audiences. But to turn the kila kubiri abiri mo esato. Highlights zizo zariche. Uh, maybe nga sinaba nyo genda mu highlights ezange mm. nga gade nyo kona ku nsonga munafe tulia hawe charese yeah. about uh, Gaza you see it's really disheartening mm. that uh, we have uh, an, a UN charter talking about genocide mm. yeah. and uh, all these countries are signatories to the same and now today a country stands up and says I, I must make sure that that is my place mm. and you have made sure that you kill and destroy human life because when you look at the statistics uh, being brought forward mm -hmm. that uh, over 23,000 people are dead and over 10,000 mm. are children and women. These are one of the most vulnerable species in humankind mm. and they are the ones you are concentrating to destroy. It means you generally want to remove that uh, that gener the next generation must die and be phased off. Mm. So uh, uh, when I look at this, sometimes you might say, why has it started o on Israel? Is it also being influenced by uh, another external force that, that it, it must take place? Mm. Because it is the same thing Ukraine is facing. Mm. That, uh, Ukraine, Russia. Uh, Sorry, that uh, that Russia, Russia, Russia wants to to, to, to capture and take over. So these are things that are happening. But unfortunately, mm. the United Nations seems to be so silent about uh, serious issues. And it is uh, so loud uh, on, on trivialities, like uh, where someone signs a boat and uh, the gay and they will make a lot of noise. So uh, I think... No, you see, you see, there was a there was a UN assembly, and after the assembly, what did they say? If you recall, yes, uh, it uh, it is of recent last year, last month there was uh, the, 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 the 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 seven superpowers they had, agreed to, had to go the, for uh, to the to Security the Council Security Council meeting because mm. of that uh, that that attack, mm. and the the resolution was that think. We, we first let them sort this as the two states. Now, of course, no, 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 now the superpowers are the ones who are paying. Now that that is where we have a problem with the United Nations. 
if we go that direction and we cannot take a decision because you are number one in the country, you are actually the number one supervisor of the entire world. Mm. Now, if the number one supervisor of the entire world cannot say stop, who is going to say stop? That is exactly what we are saying. If you can't work on your enforcement, if you cannot say stop, if you can't, who is going to say it? You are number one. Because even number two cannot come up. Number two is Nam, which is coming to Uganda. Even the Ukraine and Russia. Nam, we are And uh, I will be so glad to hear that uh, South Africa has won that case. But. Uh, one who has former president. Yes. Uh, yes. I would be so glad that I uh, hear it has won because I, I wanted to win anyway. One who mm. special yes. in Palestine. Yes. So, you special so I, I keep following it up and I will, uh, I will follow it up until the end. But I would also want uh, someone to take uh, Russia to court over the same. Because it has done the same to Ukraine. And, uh, they did. They did. And, uh, the ICJ I, pronounced itself Russia. Did I did not Ukraine. follow it up. I don't know why. <laughs> oh, because I'm a, a Catholic. <laughs> some people will say that, obviously, I'm, I'm kidding. But uh, some people will say, oh, maybe because he's a Catholic. So, <laughs> but uh, I'm a Catholic who is against uh, Israel. <laughs> You're a Christian. There are certain things you don't agree with. I don't with. agree with injustice. Mm -hmm. I don't. So, Once there is injustice, you cannot never see me around. I will be against you. And yeah. yeah. It's an injustice. But it's just my DNA. No, no, no. But you need to move. It took a little bit. Why you wait to have to a charcoal ever? And it must be condemned. Yeah. It must be condemned. We cannot sit here excited about Israel murdering and killing people. We no. also talk about Hamas murdering being the first to murder Israel. You see, if you look at the history of these people very well, just like I, I keep telling uh, members that uh, one time tea, you will have another genocide in Rwanda. Because the way you solve problems mm. gives you a significant result that it will be sustainable or it is just a matter of time. Mm. Now, what happened in Rwanda is that when Kagame took over, he suppressed over whoever was against, uh, against the Hutu. And, the, and now, today, as we are speaking, mm. they are silent. Tomorrow you will see them. And that will happen. They are just silent because of the leader. Yeah, because of the time, the time that mm. there is someone who is uh, ready to suppress whatever comes up. But time will come, it will happen again. That is not what I am praying for. What I am talking about is that what happened in Israel and what happened with, uh, between the Israel and the Palestinians is that history is just repeating itself. It's just like today, when this matter is sorted without compensating the Palestinians, mm. it will still remain silent and recurring that even after 20 years, those people will say, ah, my grandfather was killed by these people. Yeah. I have to go back. And so this is what happens. So how, how you solve the issue? What do you mean, what do you mean compensating? No, you see, the reality is that uh, when court rules, there must be some compensation lines drawn. Mm -hmm. That now, okay, there has been loss of life. This is what must be done. There has been loss of property. This is what must be done. There has been even infection of our land mm. with bombs, those missiles and uh, all other toxic, uh, toxic, uh, ma ma uh, toxic gunshots, uh, mm. gunpowder. All those things have now gone into the drainage, uh, into the water system, and into the so. So this this must be compensated, yeah. taken care of, and then there must be constant talking. 
between the two countries mm. to see that there is a harmony which is once and for all. But uh, the way I see, this might be a continuous war. Okay, apart from the Israel-Palestine uh, war, <laughs> what other highlights oh, do you now, have for 2023? 2023 was uh, one of uh, the years that uh, gave a lot of uh, headache to, to Ugandans. One, our debt burden equaled our annual budget, and that is just the external debt without even considering the internal debt. Mm. It equaled our annual budget, and uh, that is so bad towards uh, a developing country like Uganda. Mm. Two, uh, maybe when I talk about uh, environment, we can say this time around we had enough rain. Mm. If someone did not think of that, they should really think that if people took advantage of the rains, then we shall have enough food this year. Yeah. We shall have enough food this year. Mm because we had enough rain. Uh, three, uh, I will look at the parliament, how it has uh, continued to become weak and weak, that uh, you do not see uh, what serious laws are being passed towards uh, the promotion of uh, of uh, the, the, the common man, mm. corruption has increased. We are still fighting. Mm, yeah, mm. you can fight while reducing, but we, our fight continues to grow. Mm. Corruption continues to grow. So uh, basically, it's not a fight. Maybe it's just uh, adding uh, boosters into the corruption scandals. Uh, when you when you hear the Auditor General's report. Mm. When you see the reports coming from, uh, when you see the reports coming from uh, IGG, uh, it's a bit hectic for any on a small brain to continue thinking about them. That uh, these these reports need big brains mm. really to to analyze them. Yeah. Uh, <coughs> there has been a lot of. Uh, domestic violence and throughout the year mm. and this time around it has actually changed to uh, the twist is now that uh, it is women who are murdering uh, the men more <laughs> when, so so the year <laughs> when you yeah. summarize 2013 yeah when you come to poor uh, political parties it is a year which uh, I think has given the, the biggest headache to FDC mm. since it was created. You, you are FDC? Yeah, I am FDC. Okay. Yeah, since it, its creation in 2004, mm. I think this was the most hectic year. And uh, coming to maybe other political parties, yes, we can congratulate NU for finding a home where they launched their new home, uh, that is in, in, in Kavule, Makerere. Yeah. Then, uh, on a bigger note, I would want to say 2023 still ended when Museveni has not left power. The world will come. Tewaliwo <laughs> 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 Okay, so sometimes, 
ababa gamba ko waliye bintu byota kolango ina international conventions mm ba mukole do mukolo go kwebaza katonda olokubanti yaonye let me tell you the moment you do that some dignitaries will not come they will not because you organizing nam conference you organizing nam is it plus g g47 g77 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 plus china you organizing such conferences where you're going to have over 120 uh, state uh, leaders state leaders mm. and that is just the recognized ones then the other people they are coming along with so you might have over 1000 to 2000 guests in mm. Kampala from next week however as uh, the first lady you cannot wake up in the morning no gamba abantu nabwa de covid gere yo muchimugunyi no kutegeza abantu okubobwe oba okubera abeli okweli na obulamu bwe abadda buli rwabadde omulamu abadda atu atu yamba mu bintu ebyenja wulo minister of education era wabadde ababadde bakole mu wabadde bavuddewo kati banange nze ngabo endwadde ne baji te babaddewo <laughs> ministre egenda <laughs> kusebengera <laughs> <laughs> she has been alive, mm. she has been awake, she has been okay, healthy, and we have not been watching her on TV, we have not been seeing her on the radio, uh, we have not been seeing her on papers, maybe doing ABCD, but she has been there silent. No, I'm going to talk to you about the video. Yes, I'm going to talk to you about the video. I'm going to talk to you about the video. I'm going Wobo in a conversion is the international. There are people who take care of their health. Yeah. And there are people who take that as a very serious matter. That when I am going to a country and there is a security threat, mm. if there is a health outbreak, mm. so a blunder, it can never it can never happen when do you think queen the queen was healthy every time no but did you ever hear that she's now going to the hospital she always heard that she is sick or this was one of those few times that, that she has not been sick no what i'm saying she always felt <coughs> sick but were you always hearing that probably not same for this one until. so so but but we went through a lot when even she was bedridden and it was only uh, the queen, I'm talking of the queen, she was bedridden and they only came to tell the world that she was bedridden when she had almost spent their month plus. So I think there were so many questions. Nee, where is she? Eh, eh, eh. Mm. So they have, please, <laughs> she's sick. <laughs> so, but she, so this one, <laughs> one day, mm. <laughs> ah, then the mood one But you, 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 so it's a, so somehow we fail ourselves. Fever nini tuwe kuba. It's a chabadi negative publicity in Uganda. Yes, obviously. Ya wonye. Nenate yebe ya kuwasiza begani. Because that is the, the most important thing. Because my contacts might be fewer than hers. In a day. That lady might be meeting even uh, over 50 people, talking to them mm. in, in various meetings and uh, engagements. I may not even make maybe 30 in a day, naturally. But I, I might have my usual circles because I may not have so many appointments. But now for her with the so many appointments, come and see me tomorrow. So before she realizes she's sick, how many people had she met? So these dignitaries think about that. They do not think about you getting healthy. Mm. They think about but how many did she meet with and infected them? Now within the circles, we are also going to meet with other people. So I would rather not come. That happens. And it, it, is, it is natural. People who think about their health will not come. You will, out of 120, you might have 90. Katu sigale no kukiriza ba inzo kutaninga up. The thing is, 
Speaks, you see, that was the minister to say, what is it you should do? Uh, uh. I do understand. You see, as a leader, there are things you say and there are things you don't say. Those who say that uh, he's hiding a lot of things uh, from them, obviously, I will not tell you that uh, I am going to rig an election, but I will tell you I'm going to organize an election. Mm -hmm. And that is what he does. He will not tell you that, please, we must. Uh, uh, we must go and attack uh, the people in Kasese, but you will see it happening. Okay? He will not tell you that uh, I am going to visit uh, Kampala, but uh, you will see him in Kampala visiting. Okay? Now, after the visit, he will now tell you now, I came purposefully to understand uh, the, the state of our roads. Okay? As if the people were informing him, were telling him lies. So, as a leader, you must keep certain things to yourself. That is, it is not bad. It's, it's actually one of the wise decisions a leader must make, is that there are some, some things you tell other people, mm. then there are certain things you don't. You keep them. Obviously, mm. Galiza. Nemukogira kwa mkulembezi wikuanga wano kusembi ya yeda bagambi rachi ya risaba. Tuwa wukogira kubia IDF. No, you see, the chitufu chili iti wukogira kuna kusembi ya yu kwa wade unnecessary. Kwa wade necessary, kwa watu ineye kunga na zino. Hizi jama asate, nsunga yebe ukweli nda. Kwa wade unnecessary because, I think, watu watu wukogira kuba IDF. It was not really about him to come and address Ugandans about the ADF, if you are talking about the conversions that are coming up. These people, you only, you only need to make a write-up on media. For them, they even read more than us. Actually, for us, we want to watch. For us, we want to see you on TV and mm. you're there on TV. Mm. Then they even ask you, what, what, what did he say? You can't bring out two points. But you are seeing and you, you, you can admire how he is taking his tea. Maybe you begin condemning him for coughing while talking. But they ask you for the rest one and a half hours he spent there. Mm. Could you please tell us what he said? Just do an interview. Random check. Kukuboku. Mm. Just simply because, not because uh, they, are, uh, they are not interested in understanding their country, but because th th there's a level where they have reached that uh, they feel comfortable in their, in their troubles. Ugandans now feel even comfortable in their troubles that they feel there is no solution from from whatever is going to say. Let me ask you, do you think if the president, for example, does not come out to say anything, to take some material, or do you think the other people who are coming think the threat has gone away because the president is not in office? What difference do you think it makes if he shows up on time? Basically, his coming last time made no difference. What, 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 because... What, what were the impacts of that appearance? Positive or negative? No, 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 no. There, there was no reason even for him to come. To me, I listened, I watched. Mm -hmm. There was no reason for him to come because he came and started teaching us about patriotism. That was his first line of discussion. Patriotism, you see, you must love your country. Mm. Then you talk about Pan-Africanism. <laughs> Pan-Africanism, <laughs> now you see, uh, we now, we had actually requested to go into Congo earlier on. We would have finished those people. Now, this very man forgets that we were, we were allowed to go into Congo some time back when we were fighting Kony. And they went there to steal property. Up to today, we are still paying. 
that date. Okay? Mm. After the ruling in court. Now, you are saying if this government had allowed us to go there earlier on, because you are talking to Galibo Ugandans, who forget so soon that you were there and you stole, then how could I allow you to go back and steal more? So, his speech, basically, that's why I said, if you want to do better analysis, you must develop a, a thick skin on your brain. These people will confuse you. Today they will bring this, tomorrow they will bring that, and the next day they will bring something. Then you, for you who is a guardy boy, you will sit there and say, yeah, che, 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 che. One more question before you. Yes, this I, I, no, okay, this is my thought. The fact is, uh, as Ugandans, you also want updates from the Congress of that level. So, at the end of the day, whether, it, 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 I don't think it does any harm president to come and tell you this is how far we are, this is what we are doing, and maybe also speak to those and tell them, look, we are ready for this and that, so, <coughs> what, in other words, what problem do you find with that, with his last appearance in particular? I am not saying I find a problem, I am, I, you can't I, I am telling, telling you that, that, telling you that I am telling you that it was useless. It wasn't, it was a lot of us wanted to know no, the information no, 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 how no. we are progressing was fighting a deal and he came and told you that what problem is now let me, let me let me ask you what did he tell you he talked about a deal he, he talked about yes. them what did he say what he <laughs> said is how <laughs> we need to be ready to know that we are ready to face them now let me Which tell you this uh, let me tell you this nabasabo kwe wayo siro woza anti gwe murundi oguso senga mu 7 atugamba nti agenda kulwana naba ADF <laughs> Ede mirundi minji akute na majega fenaga tuwala nga nepala mentaji tegezeza nga naba na Uganda taba tegezeza. Julia. Mm. So, e mirundi jona jagenze, Uganda yefirwa mbulidafe tufunamuchi tufunamuchi murutaro orwa museven na wakugende kongo. So, let me ask you, let me ask you, Julia. Mm. Time and again you have seen the Do we have a report to that? Really? Do we really have a report? No, do we have a report you to that? Seen that happen. I don't want us to see that. For me, let me tell you this. I have, only, I have only had it once. Let me tell you this. Let me tell you this. I only speak about because you I, do not agree with me. I, I, I want to tell you that it has been only once, and that was the attack hmm. on Renzori, hmm. which has been justified. By even the locals. So does that then let, let, let me tell you this. Let me tell you this. It is once that the people from Renzori mm. came up and even made it clear that these people they came from Congo, crossed over and attacked us. Okay? Mm. And then they went back after the attack. Okay? All these other murders, I have seen arrests being done, and the arrests are typical Ugandans. Where we even have one Sheikh Kamoga. But, but the, ah, let me, let me, the people of the NDA are also from me. Let me tell you, let me tell you, let me tell you, let me tell you. Even Sheikh Kamoga, a clergy, was arrested over such. And he, is, is he immune to doing anything? And he spent there over, I think, over six years. Then afterwards, he was released innocent. Mm -hmm. Okay? Mm -hmm. Now, but that was an investigation. Yeah, an yeah, but uh, what I'm trying to, to show you is that mm -hmm. we shouldn't really limit ourselves into saying that this is ADF. Mm -hmm. There is what we call internal assassination also mm -hmm. taking place mm -hmm. by our own members of this country. That will never come out clearly. But, but also some of those members are, the, are also members of the ADF that are also doing those. And Ugandans those, are also, Let me tell you, you this. You 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 let me tell you, let me tell you, let me tell you, let me tell you. Even if you're talking about having ADF members who are Ugandans. Which they are, majority of them. That one, I, I can never come up to say yes until I have a full report. That report has never come out because 
all the mothers. But, but when they take you, you're the same person. No, no, no. Rogers, to the how when the Mukura guests in the Jubilee. No, I am. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. It's not a blanket. We talk about discussion and not to join. Get a yo. My issue drive a program. Do chala. We talk about it. We talk about it. Ate. I go to get no kubanga. To turn the gear. Go to the church. Alternative Dig Talk. Real issues. Real talk. Go to the church, though. Tell man, what's up? Man, can you imagine people just dump everywhere? Someone drinks water and throws the bottle wherever. Come on, Rogers. What else do you expect people to do with an empty bottle? Did you know that plastics take at least 450 years to decompose? What? That's a long time. Exactly. Because plastics are made out of a lightweight and flexible material that doesn't decompose easily. And plastics everywhere in the environment cause plastic pollution. What is plastic pollution now? It is the accumulation of plastic waste in the environment, like bottles, polythene bags, straws, all of these contribute to plastic pollution. I have been using them without knowing their effect. Yeah, a lot of people have. Plastics are a danger to the ecosystem, both on land and in water. So how can we overcome this problem? Is there something we can do? Oh yes, we can reduce by minimizing the use of plastics, reuse by repurposing them, or recycle by collecting and processing them into new products. Everyone wants to change the world, but no one wants to change themselves for the world. How about we change our habits for the world? And, and it, it starts, starts with, with me and, and you. you. This message is brought to you by Alternative Digitalk. Looking for a pair of shoes? Less Up Stores has a wide range of selection for unisex footwear. We have the best quality of all brands at pocket-friendly prices and we make deliveries countrywide. Just plus your order or reach us on 0772-080090. You can also check up at Less Up Stores on all our social media platforms. Less Up, craft your own footprints. Alternative Dig Talk. Real issues. Real talk. Please make it a point to be a part of them. Send in a comment, send in a question. We we'll try to be to address it at any one time later in, uh, in the show. So, now some of the issues we're talking about are the highlights from 2023 to get into 2024. And in the second hour, I want to focus on how do we move forward? What is it? How are the projections? What are we looking towards improving? For example, if uh, some of those areas we failed or performed terribly last year. Uh, when Mr. Jabir hinted on one of the things about the audit report. And the report said that by 30th of June, 2023, our public debt stood at 96.1 trillion Uganda cities, 96 million. That is where we are with public debt. And that was in June. So in the November, towards December, we had three, we had seven trillion borrowing approvals. So I think it's safe to say now that we are over 100 uh, uh, trillion uh, Uganda cities. So it doesn't look very uh, pretty if you look at that. So those are some of the issues we want to look at. As we move into 2024, what should be the focus? Is what is it that we missed in 2023 and the years prior? 
that we need to focus more, that we need to put efforts more. We have those conferences coming in Nama and the G77 plus China. How do we make sure that we benefit from some of those to make sure that, uh, one, our international standing is in a good place, maybe that will also affect uh, our currencies and the amount of borrowing that we make. That is going to, what we're going to be focusing on. Mr. Javid, yeah. I, I think we can leave the other one. <laughs> 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 just, just for 2024, I think that was about strategy three. In 2024, as we move forward, uh, what do you think, to begin with, we need to focus on? What are those areas you think we need much more attention than, than what we have been giving them? Uh, <coughs> 2024, expect more political, uh, what can I say, political games. <laughs> <laughs> it is uh, it is a positive for whoever will play the game well and mm. wins. Uh, but it is negative to the country because uh, as we are speaking, our country is sinking. Uh, but then people are going to come up to to struggle and portray that they are the liberators because we are heading to a, a political. A situation where people need to begin talking to the masses yeah. that please I am coming I am coming I am coming mm. uh, but uh, in reality it's a job people are coming to look for jobs just because uh, our unemployment rate is also growing even when uh, we have uh, we have uh, more companies opening up in brief, it tells you that uh, the companies opening are fewer than the population. Because our population growth, as I'm speaking, I think we are 50 million. Yeah, about 50 million. And out of the 50 million, about uh, 70 to 75 percent mm. are 30 below years. So that shows you that uh, we have more people who have the energy to work but uh, they have not, nothing to do. Even what is there to be done uh, basically cannot sustain life. Uh, three, we are going to have uh, an increase in the crime rate. Uh, <coughs> increase in the crime rate. Just uh, this, because crime comes when there is failure to, to catch up with uh, the daily life. Mm. In a situation where people now continue to, to look at themselves as grown-ups, yet in reality they cannot afford what it takes, we now also struggle as much as possible to make sure they are there. And that uh, has also another factor, uh, that uh, we have so many school dropouts, mm. uh, statistically. Uh, the number of uh, children who register every year. At the end of seven years, we always have about 35% uh, who have not completed. Where does that lot go? Uh, that lot comes to the society, to the community, mm. <coughs> to do what they understand best. And what they understand best is picking from those who already have. And uh, maybe... Four, I project uh, FDC, I will talk about it, because mm. that's the uh, political part I come from. Yeah. If, uh, if at all the mechanisms that are put down function well, then FDC will rise up to be one of the strongest political parties ever. Will, will you be able to unite? Those are one of the things in the coffers. So that's why I'm saying if it happens, mm. it will be one of the strongest political parties in the, in the history of this country. Okay. And uh, so we, we are pushing on because we understand why people are angry and all that. Mm. Some people even end up getting annoyed with colleagues because you are this side and they are the other side. Mm. So sometimes it is necessary and sometimes I say it is not necessary. Yes. Uh, <clears throat> six, 
looking at our debt burden, we are going into more borrowing. And obviously the country will be sinking. If you're not careful, it might be one of the biggest factors where we shall have uh, an eruption within NRN. Because everyone wants to get money from, uh, from the chairman of the party. Mm. And now the chairman of the party also finds uh, nowhere to get the money other than going to the coffers of this country. And now when the coffers are also overexploited, I saw, I saw Bank of Uganda writing to, to advise about the exorbitant expenditures mm. and then the loans. And this will continue to grow as long as Mr. Museveni wants to continue buying opposition members instead of offering the services that would actually lure mm. people to go to him. So that is what happens, that we are going to have more borrowing in order to take you away from this digital, to take you to, to State House yeah. and work with him as his blog. Then <laughs> so so that, that will happen. And then uh, something I would want us to, to focus on and give value is that uh, express flyover, mm. the, 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 the foot, uh, that foot, uh, foot flyover. Mm. And the baby get it. And, yes, our, our baby get it with it. Mm. I think uh, we must have ambulances around there. This, I'm making that statement today. Mm. Let us not bring back my video just to say, this man talked about it. Make this reach out to those people, whoever is responsible. Ambulances we need, are we need ambulances at that point. You see, where you are saying that 16% uh, of Ugandans have mental illness, mental problems, mm. that area is so lucrative for people to take their lives. Yeah. Frustrations. Frustrations are too high that Ugandans today think of killing themselves so urgently than solving the problems. Now, that place where vehicles never cease to pass. Mm. I passed there last evening to see how the place is, but it came to my mind. I saw, I said, no, we need an ambulance here. Stand by. Whatever happens, people are taken away. Mm. Though police is going to be there, but police is ill-equipped. Anything other than that, I think the best we can do mm. as a country is to see how we reorganize our, our farming system. Okay. Uh, because basically, if it is a, our backbone, then we should prioritize it by giving it a better, better farming system. Mm. Let us buy equipment. Let us give farmers that benefit of, uh, of, of doubt that they can really bring back to the country. Because Last year, coffee, coffee production improved. Mm. Uh, that means our villagers might have tried to see how best they go back into farming. But then I know it will be short-lived because they are weak. Naturally, you can no longer dig a kilometer, uh, no, uh, an acre of mm. land as an individual. I, I always use this example. Maybe some of you were too young. Uh, 15 years back, 15 years back, 15 to 20 years back, mm. you could have people on bicycles and they could ride a very fat lady <laughs> who weighs about 90 to 100 kilograms <laughs> on, on, a, on a bicycle. Mm. Yeah? 
kagari kana manyi gechifuba yes nakasota na nakasota na nayambuka no lusozo olabo entebe road mbuka mm. <laughs> na yenga mm. alikulya tudde neka to lwalero omuvubuka kasoba kasoba we myaka abiri kwa abiri mwetano wadda asatu tasobola kusitula muntu wa myaka ana kugali na yambuka lusozo that shows you how weak <laughs> we have, so, so it means by all means we tuba twagalo ku promoting agriculture tuve ku mukoroza aba bantu bajja ko nsenkumbi kati the other is the the live example what what we to solo ku sote gad ngo slow muntu omuzito no no yambu ko lusozi kati enkumbi No but but, but, but now now do, now do you do you want to tell me if we we brought a uh, irrigation system which is uh, cheaper it cannot solve the problem of me going to the well and put some little water in a, a watering can and come and water then go back uh, <laughs> so what I'm not saying that they were not they were weak I'm just saying that probably why it was like that is because they didn't have alternatives now we have to no you see no 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 let me tell you the reality is our bodies have weakened that's it do you think if we went back to that age we would not survive now let me tell you this at this point if we went back there it is hard for you to survive it is hard it's the condition that we it's it's hard it's hard for you to survive what i'm trying to show you is that genetically people weaken mm. and when uh, society society changes okay there are things that must also change yes that's now true. that he, uh, on, on, the, the weakening of genes, of genes I don't agree on the idea of society changing and people having even genes weaken do you know that uh, do you know that uh, yes do you know that the, the, the moment the moment we go into reproduction mm. and you have continuous engagement with the weaker genes that you end up having weaker societies mm. uh, what do you mean weaker societies because of weaker genes what are weaker genes a gene a gene you say human creation has 21 chromosomes mm. and when you have 21 chromosomes these 21 chromosomes have color they have energy mm. they have uh, hair they have eyes they have mouth they have they have voice they have iq so now when you go to someone who has weak of those <laughs> that, <laughs> okay you, you because now i want to that's why i've broken it down that you color what <laughs> so <laughs> gene become weak because we moved from one generation to another maybe that it, it becomes it it, it, it it becomes weak because of recreation yes i mean to be a science that's why that's why in a, that is in cognitive psychology okay. it is in cognitive psychology that's where they teach it so uh, so for you that's why your parents i may, i don't mean you but uh, yeah. there are those people who whose parents will tell them ah, ah, wait you always marry someone who has these characters because those are the character traits come out of genes that a gene of such and such a character is attributed to having resilience there are those who are very weak that even seeing just a uh, a cockroach bypass here they will jump so, uh, one of us has those fears yeah so 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 there are those who are like that <laughs> naturally for them they are, but there are those who will even <laughs> see a snake and say ah, let's attack it's it it's so beautiful mokora jabiro to send you science but what you want to do how let's look at the performance cell position in the 2024 you see basically i opposition can never thrive in dictatorship 
Because what do you want opposition to do? How must they do it? When and why? The biggest responsibility of a political party is to make sure that it overthrows whichever is in government or a regime that is in power mm. to take over government. Okay. And how you do it? Now, the how bit of it is where there is a big challenge. That you begin by talking to people. Tell them, please vote for me. And then you look at even the votes themselves. By the time of tallying, someone already knows the percentage they are getting. Mm. Before you even tally the votes. So, it is a bit hectic. That today as we are speaking, on the 7th of January, <laughs> Electoral Commission expired. Mm. Okay? And the Electoral Commission which expired was even expected yesterday. Uh, uh, president, uh, the president was expected to, to, to send in new names to, uh, yes. to, to Parliament to, for approval. Which names did not reach? But but, but postponed is a speaker which postponed it. The names didn't reach. It's not just a postponement. So there is the, are they going to come back? Or the, so for you as opposition, what role would you play there? Obviously, we would really say we would change the system of uh, appointing uh, the, the, the electoral commission. But then, even if you are to change the system of appointment. Who is the last person to make that decision? It is parliament. Which parliament is led by someone who does not even understand maybe parliamentary proceeding? Now you speak. Yes, you speak, aren't you, Kugamba? That's the challenge. It's a challenge. It's not a problem. That's a challenge. That now we have, we have a speaker who doesn't maybe even understand how parliament must really work. Because she works by anger. She works... Uh, by vintage, I, I, this person insulted me the other day, I must show him, I must show her. This person does not really uh, kneel before me, I must bring you down. Now, such a speaker is not really worth leading the, 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 the August House of, of this country. If we are at this state, because we are so poor, we are broke, and if we are poor and broke, we need people who have brains to bring... Uh, to, to, uh, to, 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 we, are, we need brains which really uh, bring programs that are progressive and they are supported, whether this person is bad or good to you. Mm. So we have a problem with this parliament. It, it, is, it is very hard for me as an opposition really to say, now this is what opposition should do. Because really our biggest responsibility is to take over this regime. Yes. But then when you are to take over the how part is the hardest. Because, as we are speaking, I think the, the simplest way we can now remove Mr. Museven is by an uh, uprising. But then the uprising itself to build that mass which understands that one of their core responsibilities is to be in a state house. And even if you want a house, mm. it is easier to get a, a house for yourself when you have the ability to afford it than waiting for someone to give it to you as an offer. Because this is how regimes survive. Njala siye nyingi, siye nyingi mu opposition. Njala. Anti chengkugamba. Ede tedo kubanti abamu. So, Struggle bajiri demo, bajiri demo. Aba tukastava tegira, tumvuna nzivu abu abu. Obukuru, bwa kulaba nga baso kolo kuchu, so ukule embeze. Nga te, babu, bu abu ingaba ntubaina omukono omunene nyo ogusala o biche mikolebua. Mm. Chiba cha muendo. Na ye, abanasi aban olwali laba singa baguwa mwe subi, edabo bagamba, mwebi tutuwa wikuwa saka tonda. Ukubikuwa saka tonda, si chibi. Mm. Nyate neka tonda, obimukuwa sanga, nyo mbi doko kozechi. Kwa tade. Siga antimuna ya, I want this lion not to eat me, but you are there praying when it is coming. You should run while you saying, God help me, let me run faster. Mm. Yes. yes, let me run faster, let the lion be slower. So, <laughs> so you, don't, <laughs> you don't pray to God, uh, you're kneeling here, the lion is coming. You would be silly. Okay? okay? So, I think as Ugandans, our how should be solved. The how is an uprising. Because and the elections that are being prepared in 2026, you, you predict that 95% 
Museveni is going to be the next president. Okay? That is by predicting. But uh, now the 5% is for us. What do we do? What do we do with the 5%? Mm. The 5% is now where they are going to arrest our people uh, because of uh, showing massive support. Then uh, you are going to have uh, maybe an MP's win slots somewhere. Then you are going to have some LC5's winning slots somewhere. That is the 5% yeah. which you get. But then is it feasible enough to even change government? It's not. Is it? I have a question about that one. Do you think the opposition, and, and I listened carefully when you said the biggest role of any opposition party is to take power. Mm -hmm. I think that is true. What I think we are also, I think in my unexpertise opinion, is that we are only focusing on taking power, that we are not looking at how to even better the livelihoods of people. Now I understand the power of the opposition is obviously limited because they don't have as much resources. Yes. But I feel like a lot of people have made it an individual mission to take power. So it's just about taking power, it's about taking power. You, you see the questions when you're asking Chagwa and he's running for presidency. The slogan is, why are we moving a dictator? And then what? After that. So I, I, do you think the opposition as yourselves, have you interrogated that extent, the question of removing the dictator? Yes, but what is it you're offering that even the people you see, you see are sleeping need to feel the urge to join you? If I'm going to join you or in your cause, I need to know that you have something that transcends what is the status quo, what is it that you're presenting? Over and above you see, <clears throat> I don't think when you invite me for a talk show to mm. talk about uh, why we need to be in power, I will only be uh, why we are struggling to remove Museveni. I will only keep telling you that uh, Museveni must go. Museveni must go. It's what the has no, no. For for a full hour, I don't think some a panelist only tells him Museveni must go or two hours. It's only that people make it look uh, like... Uh, okay. Because I, I have been in this political life since my childhood. I have followed Dr. Vesige from the time he came in 2001. He made very serious issues which came to the people and one of them was the exorbitant taxation where he said we have we are paying double tax one people are paying heavy tax two then the same person must go and pay taxes in commodities mm -hmm. even as you purchase there's some tax taken why can't one be taken away you are either take you either take away the heavy tax or you take away the so heavy tax was removed there's a commodity tax now when you tell us that there are no issues, this is very person <laughs> who has been arrested for speaking about, about how the government of Mr. Museven is mismanaging the infrastructure and is mismanaging the employment system. Because today as we are speaking, when someone makes 60, you are supposed to retire. And when you retire and you are a public servant, you are supposed to have a take home, which must be called a pension every, every month. Now, how many people are getting that money? Okay? Very many people have actually gone to court to change their age. Not because they don't want to go back home and dig. But because they have seen how you struggle to begin earning that money. <laughs> it takes about seven to, uh, five to seven years to begin earning your pension. Yet you retired. Now, such systems, it's what really we talk of when we say we want to take a seven. Because giving someone pension and giving that person their full package of appreciation after retirement 
creates employment. We wrote a paper about that as Jobless Brotherhood, how it would create over 9,000 jobs every year, just giving people their pension money. Mm. Every year, you'd have about 9,000 jobs created every year. So <laughs> we wrote that paper, even presented it to the speaker, that was uh, Rebecca Kadaga then, and I think for her, she just looked at it as a beautiful document and kept it. You see? So these are things we see. We talk about them. Only that now you must give, uh, you must give the, 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 the real highlight of what exactly you want people to, uh, to understand. What people must understand is that the regime of Mr. Museven has greatly taken us backwards, even after we had reached a certain level of, of progress. Now what we are doing is we, we are retrogressing. We are not progressing. We reached a level we were stagnant, now we are going back. That's why you see our debt burden is increasing. And for them, they don't care. I, I can see they even had to go to, to get new vehicles to, to, to give the, the visitors coming. New vehicles. Yet we have new vehicles which have just been given to ministers. Why can't you borrow the ones of the ministers and uh, give these people? Okay? Because mm. the minister internally has about, uh, I think there is no minister who has only one vehicle. I don't think. All the ministers of Uganda have more than three cars. So pick the best car, take it there. Instead of us spending, do you know that out of the, the borrowing, 20 billion is, is just to organize this? Mm. 20 billion. Yeah. Now, we are even borrowing just to organize an international, uh, an international treaty, an uh, event. Over to read the bit Babi tubulide. Babi tubulide. Ha, <laughs> you see, I, you see, I, I, I like this. Ugandans, we have made to be, we have been made to look stupid. I'm sorry to say this, that when, uh, when such a big event is coming, mm. there is no even arrangement or preparation to take these people for tour. It's not there. Let me ask you Uganda. Uh, last year we had the World Cup Cup in Yes. Mm. How do you interpret Now, Qatar benefited. Kata benefited, benefited a lot. One of the things those people benefited from, actually, if I'm to tell you Qatar, for them they made sure they even set ground rules, if you remember. Mm. They, they first of all talked about dressing. Two, they talked of the areas people could go and visit. Mm -hmm. Three, they had to benchmark uh, if you're a visitor who has never come to Qatar, where you can go and where you cannot go. Okay? okay. That was very clear in Qatar. Because that, that was a one-month uh, uh, one uh, mm -hmm. event. That uh, this is an event of how many days? Four, three? Three to four days. Three to four days. Mm. I wish in our program we had five days. If it is three, we would talk of five. The first day is touring Uganda. Because if you want to benefit as a country, let's tour. Mm. Understand Uganda. Then the, the, the last day is just to have a drive through. Okay. Yeah. So, so, so let me ask and for me, when, you, when we talk of touring, when we talk of touring, there's a lot that we benefit from the touring. It's because the different areas they tour, mm. obviously, money will be left there. Yes. When money is left there, it, it is maintained. It is not spent. Here, we are going to hotels because I know that's where you want to take me about uh, the Qatar, that they went to hotels. 
And that's the way our Uganda will stop. They will go to the hotels <laughs> and they will sleep. So, so let me, <laughs> because let me, let me try to <laughs> So first of all, maybe one thing you could tell you, for example, for like the aviation sector, you could say that maybe forever, whatever you leave, because most of the countries don't have direct flights to Uganda. Mm. They have like stopovers. Maybe if you could say that, maybe they would use, have to use Uganda Airlines, but you can't also make it mandatory. I, I have a right to use whatever I want. Yes. But that's besides the point. What I mean is this. While these guys are here, uh, which you mentioned, I think, earlier when we were starting that it's almost one of those biggest organizations. It is the second. Next, next to the US. It is the second. It's so that literally the whole world's eyes is going to be on Uganda for the period when they're going to be mm. here. Do you think that is not publicity for Uganda? That is one thing. Two, do you think that... Also, the fact that you have the chairmanship of the NAM means that you're going to represent that body, for example, at the UN conferences and meetings. Do you think that puts Uganda at a pedestal higher than it was? That is another thing. Two, when the time, for the time they are being here for that whole duration, mm -hmm. does that mean that every person who's going to come to Uganda is not going to say, I'm not going to go anywhere because they have not said you should go? Because I, if, as much as I know, the Uganda tourism board, including all of these people in the tourism sector, have been singing about all of these things. Now, my brother. What you could say is maybe government needs to intensify. My brother. On that support. This, this, that it's not true that Ugandans the, are not going to benefit anything. And I think you need to tell Ugandans, you people, this, who are leaders. This, who are this I want to tell you mm. that uh, we are dealing with uh, international dignitaries. Yes, we are. We are not dealing with the local, the, the local job leader that he, I can leave a conference hall and you go down to Chibuye. To begin seeing how Chibuye looks, there I bought the, uh, anything there, so because I wanted the car to be there, someone to assume that I'm still around. That's not how they behave. Their program is scheduled. Mm -hmm. If you're coming to Uganda, at the airport you will be picked by so and so, and you will drive from there to this point, from this point to the hotel, from the hotel to. Their programs are scheduled. That's how things happen, diplomatically. It's not our Chivandulo style. <laughs> so, so basically, there has been no program for touring Uganda. And it is not there, unless they are going to change the program. Because according to the program I've seen, it's not there. Two, you see Uganda, as it is, uh, NAM conversion should have uh, really uh, given us that when we came, we had this, and now as we are progressing, this is where we are. Majority of the countries, if not all, that joined the non-alignment movement, at the time they their way of life or their state of living has never changed from when they joined now. Mm -hmm. And uh, major, many of these countries have gone through uh, challenges which would really be sorted through a, a, a just a, a statement by NAM which has never come out. It's just like uh, when they say you and uh, African Union is just a uh, an important uh, organ, organ of Africa. It's there, it's, it's neither there nor there, it's not there. But the name is there, obviously, we can say the name is there. So NAM is more or less a very useless, uh, I'm not talking of the conversion which is coming to Uganda, mm. but generally as it is, uh, I, I'm an alignment, because hmm? when you, because for me, while I was uh, at school, I was a, a good student of history. And I remember those, the, how the wars, the, the Soviet Union, and uh, how, they, the then, how they began forming their non-alignment. And you'd really say, ah, now for me, I will not be part of that, or I will not be part of this. But you cannot be non-alignment. And then you're also in the UN. Then you shouldn't be there. Because member states of the non-alignment shouldn't be in UN, literally, literally. literally. But individual countries are part of the UN. That's what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. I am a Ugandan. Mm -hmm. Uganda is in both. Mm -hmm. 
So where are we? I want you to get, and I don't want you to misrepresent this. The thing is this. Yes. The, the formation of Nano Ainu movement was not about the UN or those international bodies. Yes, it true. Was about wars that were breaking the, the world. True. Too. Yes. And these ones were deciding, I am not going to be part of any of the two. True. Because we, need to, to, we need to, to reconcile this. True. Two. It does not mean then true. that that the position of those two uh, uh, so, worlds apart. So why was, the, why, why was UN formed? The UN was formed precisely almost for the same reason, to make sure that they address some of the So, uh, so does that then uh, no, no, what, what, what I am trying to say mm. is exactly what you have brought out. No. I'm telling you that no, what as, mean, as a country, it, it as a country called Uganda, we are in both. We are in NAM and we are in U, UN. UN yes. Okay? Mm. And when, which side is the UN? In, in terms of what? In relative, because of what you mean to say because that we are in both. Just, just let, let me try to make this. Mm. You're, you're trying to mean that uh, we, we shouldn't be a part of NAM and a part of the UN. Mm. The UN is not on any one side. It's a general body. The NAM was specifically for that reason. And it is and, also, and it is also general. So does it contradict it, the position NAM, of the NAM is also general. Yes. <laughs> does, does, does the NAM contradict the position of the UN or vice versa? Now, I want to explain this mm. in this term. That the creation of non-alignment movement came earlier after the UN. And uh, this was at a point of uh, after World War II. And uh, if you to follow World War II, the occurrences of World War II was because we had two groups. One group which was the Allied, then the other one was the Aligned Powers. And the Allied powers had its own countries. The Allied powers had its own countries. So we had turned the world into two. That we had those who were so much. Then we had the Soviet Union, which was also coming up with its own uh, uh, style of managing a society. Now, the non-alignment uh, movement started as a joke in a system that it was like, now, for me, I want to be neutral. I want to be neutral. But the real factor was to see how they can weaken the UN. This one I can tell you, as a student of, of, of history. Yes. Yeah, because UN was already formed. UN was formed in 1945. So did the UN have a position on this? Now, I told you that it was also a neutral organ. So for me, it would just be easier to actually just go there and we build on. But then what happened is that they started another thing. Ah, Katuzimbewe chafe nafe. Yeah? 1945, UN is formed. It moves for 10 years, progress is made. Uh, different, uh, different chapters are signed. Uh, human rights, uh, is it what, uh, different uh, chapters are signed. Then non-alignment also begins from somewhere. Say, ah, but I think we also need to do something like this. That was the basic thing. That's why, actually, let me, t let me tell you, that's why up to today, you will not get the clear reasons as to why NAM was formed. Their main objective is what? Okay. Even if you went and read it as it is written. Shall I attempt? You, you can attempt, no problem. Their main objective is what? <laughs> <laughs> the thing is this. Yeah. So when you say, in other words, I understand the point you're, trying, you're making. But also the NAM, you have, the, for example, the G20, you have the G7, the greatest seven. Do, do you mean that the existence of all of those groups that is, is primarily to weaken the UN. Now, <clears throat> those ones, uh, when you talk of the G20 and the G7, they are, their organogram and management of affairs is different. Mm. Why I am concentrating on the NAM? NAM wanted to do everything as UN. Just look, go, go and read about them. NAM is a... Is, an, uh, is, is a movement which wanted to portray that 
It is also a big humanitarian body which does not associate with any other from this. If, if your good come, if your bad remain where you are. But as, a, as UN, UN had already done that. What was, the, what was lacking in the UN mechanism and system that uh, NAM had to come and address? Because for me, I would really think in their preamble, they, had, they were supposed to really give us a flashback that during our time, in, uh, as far as World War, we realized that the people who started uh, uh, United Nations uh, were, were much involved, were much involved in, in the war itself. Now for us, we do not want to be part of this because of ABCD. But now, that is not clear. They only tell you, ah, you see, the world is now divided. For us, we shall not be anywhere. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah, for us, we shall not be anywhere. But even in the UN, you are coming up. It's also not anywhere. It is. <laughs> yeah, one, one of actually the objectives for the NAM was so that it advances the interests of developing nations in small states. That were mixed up most of the times in the, the, those differing wars. Mm. And the UN probably seemed to not do a great work at that. So for the interests of those developing nations and those very young ones at that, was so that they come together so when they form a body they have a voice on their own to say, we agree to this, we do not agree to this, we do not want to be a part of this. This is what we believe. You see, you see, it does not mean it contradicts see, that. See, that is writing English. But uh, UN, one of, uh, when it was being formed, one of the greatest uh, reasons was to make sure that there is decolonization. And the decolonization Which means... Which did not do that much. What do you mean? It did not... It, it did not help. On its own, the UN... O obviously, the UN, at its formation, it had to create avenues of decolonization. And that is how... And which avenues did it And that is how... And that is how you see that... Uh, UK, which was the greatest, uh, greatest uh, uh, colonizer, col uh, colonizer of, of this world, Colonies. reached at a point of withdrawing from ma majority of the states because it, it, had, it had also bigger shares in the UN. They were like, but we cannot continue de dehumanizing people when we are talking about humanity at, at this point. So, so there's... The, 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 there is no way. It, no, it, it came in 1961. How did yes. it do more? It did. Because, because in 19... Most but, of the people who actually formed the NAM were people who were advancing the decolonization agenda. By, by after the UN has failed for almost 20 years. By 1961, I can tell you 80% of the countries had been decolonized. So if it came to, 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 to fight for the 20%, it is also okay. Because today, even as we are speaking, I know that we are not a colon, a colonies to any country, but we are under <laughs> neo-colonialism. So, <laughs> so, <laughs> so, <laughs> so, so when, we, when we are in search, it is, it is hard. So this, uh, this NAM conversion, to me, I think uh, its coming is okay, mm. uh, but uh, Uganda will not benefit that much. It will not. But well, this Something uh, apart from the hotels, and obviously the hotels are still the big to-do people. I would want the, 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 the Wanainchi mm -hmm. to have something to benefit. You see, uh, uh, one time I, I, I had uh, a two weeks, uh, a two weeks uh, engagement with a certain organization in, in, in Tanzania. And uh, one thing that was done is that every evening we were given money to find something to eat. They couldn't cook for us. They said, please, get this money, find something to eat. It is upon you mm. to either use that money or keep it. Yeah. In brief, they were telling you, go and support our people. <laughs> they were telling you, go and support our people. No one know about Baba Gobya Kungud. No one knows about Baba Gobya Kungud. You see, you see, you see as, as a country, we should really take note of this. They assembled ambulances. I saw ambulances on TV. I don't know if in reality they are there, but I saw them on TV. 
I saw a, a fleet of uh, about 100 ambulances. Literally meaning that uh, each guest has an ambulance. Now, mm. what of the common Ugandan who just requested for ambulances on the uh, on the northern is it northern bypass express Entebbe Entebbe express? We just said, please, can you avail an ambulance or two on that express highway because. It is really yeah. risky. Accidents are there. It takes almost three hours for, for support to, to, to arrive. Mm. Now, put the emergency ambulances at, 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 uh, at di uh, different uh, health three centers. Provide ambulances. People are using, I don't know, wheelbarrows to take people to the hospital. Now, tuk -tuk. Uh, yes, tukutukus are, are being used. Now, these people who even have new vehicles which are coming from China, you must also avail an ambulance there which is ready to carry them. For you, who is a Ugandan, mm. nobody thinks about you. This is the level at which our country has reached. Mm. That you never care about the Ugandans, but you will be so much uh, glad to make any arrangement for a visitor. I work on Entebbe Road. We have, if you leave office at night, you would leave and that place is as dark as a graveyard in Tebe Road. But today, because visitors are coming, mm. the, the lights are all over. Express, what are they over? And I'm telling you, after one week they have left, those lights will be off. Because, because you, not Ugandans stealing them, why don't they steal them now? No, why don't they steal them now? <laughs> so it is just because we have the attitude, the negative attitude towards our own people. Mm. And, then, and then we have a big, big and yeah, uh, positive attitude towards the visitors. Mm. You think we must excite them and then... Mm. Oh, to gula bipia. Togula bipia. Let me, tell you. Let me tell you, I'm a so one we gabate gamala, chite geza bageni bagenda kuja and number ye yonge deko genda kugula masoan. So a matala bonge deko mapia or baba batereza botereza. No, I want to wabad debatadeo. Nga wa the tebe road di mubera kobo di runaku. Ukwe kuba kwe n kodera. Yes, because because you have the visitors. <laughs> They did add, what they did is that they were off. The poles were there, but no lights. So today, so today they brought the lights. I'm good to move at it. I'm at a lot of solar panels. Solar panels. When I got a bus, you want to go to the solar panel. You want to go Let's see how close Kampala and Jennifer was here. How long did they live? Now, let me... You, you, see, I, you say I come from Arua district. I come from Terego, which was cut off from Arua. We are one of the largest consumers of solar. I can tell you what people tell you are stories. A solar panel has a process to function. It is not about you having that uh, plate, mm. and then at the end of the day you have light in the house. You must have a battery. You must have a battery. And the battery is the most expensive. So I cannot come to steal a light, and I don't have the battery. The battery is the most expensive. So, <laughs> so, so if we, <laughs> so if we, <laughs> <laughs> so if I, <laughs> so uh, I, I really cry out to Ugandans. They should understand the government they are in. The government does not like them. It likes visitors more than them. So it is better we can uh, change the regime and uh, uh, replace them with a, a government that you think is better for you. I remain Augustine. Thank you.
Thank you so much, our viewers. I've not been able to read comments because the comments is what they are saying as our waivers, our waivers. Thank you for the show, Innocent Ineviona. Thank you so much for watching. We have a new one to day discussion about the new vo. Nenga sinza juni mire mchala abade ku camera. Thank you so much. Mwini mungu wako ze kwa amani nyo. Mchala te detenjo na bukela. Tujia kula bengiri jia kula chit. Jia jia maso kwa camera. I never do. I never saw Gaza. I never do. Was a bit of a girl or cool girl. But anyway, right, thank you so much. Kuwanga uh, okuzo mu mugwamani. Thank you so much, our guest. Oraka de kote wade ni muna ngi watu tambo de Rogers. Tuli ya hawe. E, watu kuzo sheno. Kupa wali kuntandi kwa. Atu kutu kano. Tuki na kuwanga. Tuji unzi. Kira mwe wale nyaba tulavye. Ida mba mba gama. Tine 2024. Tusigalenga tuchikuba. Tusigalenga tuchitambu. Za mshala wade kamera yeti ditenjo na bukera. Ida bobango muli. Demo endo oza sisi ise. Mura kubezi mza katezi tuwese vulu unjino. Ne mu kontra rumu wali omwami mkosi ya not. Anthony. Ne ali ali wawa watu tambu. Dona korali. Dona magaliza kubera vulu unji. Mwela. Alternative Dig Talk. Real issues. Real talk.